hello guys welcome back to the channel so this is the final video of this series in which we will work on the slider the duration the previous and the next button so let's start okay so for the duration we need to go to the player controller and in here we need to create two variables for the current position and the final duration so i will say duration is equal to and this will be our string dot obs and after that i need to create a uh, position position is equal to this dot obs okay so after that we need to create a method here so this will be update position and in here i will be using audio player dot duration stream dot listen so we can see the real time changes and instead of this event i will be using d as this is for the duration so i need to say duration dot value is equal to d dot to string dot split and i want to split it with the pattern of dot and from the zero and same thing goes for the position so dot position stream dot listen so here i will be using p and in here position dot value is equal to p dot to string dot split okay so this is the method and we need to call this method after this is playing so here i need to use update position okay so save it and now we need to go to player and in here instead of this i can say controller dot duration dot value and instead of this i can say controller dot position dot value and if i save it okay so here you can see it is empty as we need to go back and click on this again okay so here you can see that this is the current position and this is the final duration which is zero at this time mm. oh, no sorry we made a mistake we need to swap the values so this is the position and this is the duration now it's good as you can see this is the current position and this is the final duration of the song so as the values are obs we need to wrap this row into an obx widget save and if i play this song let's let me just raise the volume okay if i click on this i hope you was able to listen and here you can see that the duration is changing real time so okay so the duration work is done and now we need to work on this slider so for the slider we need to go back to this player controller and in here we need to create another method which will be change duration to seconds so seconds and in here i need to say for duration is equal to duration and for the seconds i will be getting seconds okay so seconds and in here we need to get the seconds audio player dot seek and in here i want to seek to the duration okay so just save it now go back to player and in here on the change of this we can call our method which is our controller dot change duration to seconds and in here we need to pass new value dot to int as we are getting the seconds and after that i need to set the new value is equal to new value and after that we also need to create some more variables here so this one will be our max so 0.0, .0 dot obs so okay so after that this will be our value is equal to 0.0, .0 dot obs and after that we need to go to the position stream and in here we need to say max Mm, sorry the max will be this max is equal to d dot in seconds dot two double 
and after that we need to say max dot value is this and also add a null check and for the current position we need to say value dot value is equal to p dot in seconds dot two double save it Okay, so let's try to run. Okay, so I hope you was able to listen. So here you can see that we are able to access the slider also, and we can drag that. Uh, we can see the audio player from here. Okay, so now let's work on this previous and next button. That is actually quite easy. So here we need to change this list song model into a list of song model. And after that, we need to go to our player. And in here, instead of this index, I need to pass this whole thing. Okay, so here is this is the player. And if you remember, we created this play index in this player controller. And we are changing this index every time we are playing any song. So we can use this variable. So in here for this data, I can say controller dot play index dot value and same goes for this one. So this is our data controller dot play index dot value. Let me just copy this thing. So I won't have to type again. And after that, where is this? Where is the issue? Okay, so here is an error. So in here, I need to say this one save it okay so here we need to restart our application and now let's go to the back and next button so in here we can say on the press of this button I want to call controller dot play song and for the UI URI I need to pass the data of current dot URI and for the index I need to pass the controller dot play index dot value okay so value minus one and as this is for the back button just copy this and go to the next button and in here paste this thing and just add add one save it okay let's try to play Okay, so here our music is working perfectly. Let's click on this button. Okay, so you can hear that we are able to change the song, but the name and the artwork is the same as the previous song. To fix this, we need to wrap this row. No, not this. We need to wrap this column also. So here we need to use OPX and save it. Okay, so here this is another song. Click on this again. And here you can see that we are getting a new name and the new artist. But you can see that the name is not in the position we decided to display. So we need to change the so we need to change the text align. So this is text line dot center. And we also need to set the overflow to text overflow dot ellipse and we need to set the max lines as two okay so here you can see everything is working perfectly and let's just copy this thing and paste this for our artist also okay so now we need to go to the artwork and there is the artwork 
this one so we need to wrap this container or let's wrap this thing let's wrap this expanded into an obx period okay so if i click on the next button okay so after that let's click on this again okay so here we want to play minus one plus one okay so here we want to change this thing as minus one now this issue will be removed actually the issue was we were able to change everything but the song was playing according to the play index now it will work perfectly as this is sun raha hai so let's go back this is ayat and we are getting the ayat artwork here the name artist and uh, one subscriber asked a question that he want to add the playlist functionality here so that is actually quite easy as you can see that we are getting this list here so what you can do here you can add some button here so on the click of this button you will just add the current song into that list you need to create a list here also so after adding that song in that list you need to store that list into the local storage or some other storage for example firebase so after that you can access your local storage for that you can watch the sqf light or shared preferences tutorial from this channel so i hope you enjoyed this series if you did let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet so see you in the next series till that allah is